if any UFC division has multiple boogeymen right now, perhaps it is 135 pounds for the men, but may Rob Dwallis really, given the wrestling, given the pace, is a fight that I would think a lot of animal contenders would try to avoid. Yeah, I mean, it must be so upsetting and so frustrating to fight Marab because Marab is just on you. He's like he's on you like a wet blanket. He wants to take you down. He wants to pressure you. He wants to make you work the entirety of the fight. It's so fun for a guy like me to watch because I love wrestling, but to be his opponent would be an absolute nightmare. This guy is a monster. Volume takedowns doesn't even begin to describe it, right? It makes for a suffocating night at the office to face Mayrob Wallace Willie. We'll see how his opponent fares tonight. underway you got to think he's going to go to the takedown early and often and he doesn't get discouraged when the opposition gets back up he chains his takedowns together as good as anyone in this bantamweight division and he believes that will be the path of least resistance here tonight relax relax keep your hands up for me now Dwalis willie gets caught by that straight punch you got to do better than that defensively All right, let's go. Let's get beautiful shot lands the leg there. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in your facial expression right in the post. Well, he blocks the shot there. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses with the left hook. Great timing on that double leg. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Making all these shots count. Ooh, good arm bar attempt here. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish arm bars. Ooh, strong clip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? 
This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, feet on the hips here. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, maybe you'll advise to be competing off your back, but he's landing. He passed the half guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be jumping, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Final seconds of the round. Oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round two. Beautiful. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Goes upstairs with the kick. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming back. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is drinking four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Nice job to block that punch. Oh, Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You gotta watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. Under three to go round two. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. But he needs to. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here. In the Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. And now some separation. Out of range with that kick attempt. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Under a minute to go. Dallas will as tough as it gets, but how about the size of the ball? He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Nice slip to avoid the left. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. If you walk back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right, right. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a five minutes it was for him. Rockston stunned his opponent multiple times, and 
I don't know, did his opponent just say uncle on the stool or is he gonna fight on? I mean, he may say uncle. When you're getting beat and battered and bruised like that, it's a testament to your toughness. But it's not ideal. You wanna be competitive. That round was not competitive at all. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh. Able to rip the body there. Oh. Establishing the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Down defense holds up. Defensively responsible, nice block. Now. now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Great commitment to the game. Oh, Useful strike there, the hook is clean. Willie's in half goal. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Dwallace Willie's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. Right into side oh, control, oh. see. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Force back. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Right on the button. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. So how about that as he pounds? 
calls him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout, Moran, the machine, Wally Shirley. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.